Hi, and welcome to Wrestling Talk. I'm Leonard Kaplan, along with Ed Whittier, and our special guests today are Brittany Brown, the IWF Ladies Champion. And my guest, gorgeous Chris Duffy. I know. Thank I you know. for coming, Chris. You know, hey, it's always been a privilege to come to the show. I'm telling you, Mr. Kaplan. I can accept it. Okay. Yes, it's been. we've had differences in the past, but... Okay. Let's, you know. We've made those up at Stack okay, Coffee. We made up, right? Thank Everything's you. fine. Do I look beautiful as always? Do I look beautiful? Absolutely. Brittany, always. Brittany, do I look always, beautiful? Always, Chris. Always. Brittany, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Leonard. Okay. Just let me say one thing. <laughs> okay. For all these people out here in TV land, remember? I'm gorgeous and you're not. Okay. okay. We Chris, you may say that as many times as you want because you know how the public is. You have to remind them. Therefore, the, the one and only gorgeous Chris Duffy. We are live here on Wrestling Talk at 581-9061, and uh, I'd like to talk to Brittany for a while. I new, read new about boots, you. Huh? Okay. That, never mind. Don't interrupt the situation. Excuse me, we were talking. Okay. Yes. If you don't mind. I apologize. You should. Are you quite through? Okay. Go ahead. Cliff Ducey did a very nice article on you uh, sometime in the summer, and uh, we've been in touch since then, and uh, I'm surprised we've never have, had you on the show before. Yeah, so was I. I was a little upset about that, but I'm here now, so I guess we're all set. I, I guess so. My mother's going to love your robe, too. This is for it. Mom. This is for Mom. Check it out, Mom. There's feathers all over the place. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Just like Chris. <laughs> now, this Because I'm gorgeous. And you're not? <laughs> this is a very auspicious week in the world of professional wrestling here in the Boston area. We've got two, the two biggies, the WWF and the WCWs facing off against each other. Yep. And WCW is in the Worcester Centrum, and the WWF is uh, at, the at the Boston Garden. Garden. And the IWF is in Bellingham. On the same night? On the night before. On the night before. I think you should speak about that, okay, too. Okay, the IWF, and that's in Bellingham? That's in Bellingham, Bellingham. Mass at the high school, and I am the champ of... <laughs> That league. Ed loves belts. Can he hold the belt? Ed can hold the belt. Why, thank you very much. You can much. hold the belt. Now, Heavy little things. How long have you been in professional wrestling, Brady? Seven years. Seven years? Mm -hmm. Now, it, I'm okay. sorry. Is this your first championship? It sure is. Who'd you be for it? Babyface Nelly from Brooklyn, New York. Baby. And it's a title shot this Friday night against Heidi Lee Morgan. I can't wait. Now you, you're with Heidi Lee Morgan. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to talk about female wrestlers. Let's talk about Heidi Lee Morgan. Okay, a great, great wrestler. The woman is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Okay, but she's not Brittany Brown. Mm -hmm. She's not the heavyweight championship of the world. Heavyweight. Here's a champion. Oh, oh, <laughs> woman weight. I'm sorry. Thank you. Know, you. That's I, I said the same Do thing. Do I stutter? Ladies. I said the same thing to Medusa, so don't feel bad, Chris. Okay, okay. but this is Medusa talent right here. Man. Brittany Brown, <laughs> right? Anytime there's a mixed tag in the IWF, any federation you want. You might see gorgeous Chris Duffy and actually Brittany Brown mm -hmm. together on the same team. And wouldn't that be a shame for our opponents? I guess so. I mean, do you, do you sing okay. too, uh, I sing. Oh, well, I, I was sing. in a band. I was in I a band. I know you sing. You should hear us do duets. Really? Oh, you die. Okay, just for you people out in Lynn who didn't know, now, as I bounce off the ropes. Okay? My favorite all-time recording star is Barry Manilow. And don't all you people from Lynn love it, okay? I've been here a few times, okay, but I've never had the great privilege to sing in front of these wonderful fans. So you're going to okay. sing for us tonight? Before you sing, okay. Before you sing, let's take a phone call. Maybe this person. Maybe will they'll sing. help us. See if they want you to Maybe sing. Maybe they'll do okay, Leonard. <laughs> Wrestling talk, hello. Hi. You're on the air. How you doing? How good. are you? How are you? Yeah, it's a good show. Uh, who, who, who the guest again? Brittany Brown, uh -huh. IWF Ladies Champ. And gorgeous Chris Duffy. Okay, I think I saw uh, Chris Duffy on WWF TV. Uh -oh. uh, that might have been correct. Uh, that was probably when I was power slamming Bret Hart. I saw that. Bret Hart, yeah, I, I think so. That. Yeah, you did see that, okay. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, you gotta remember something, okay? Where are you from? I'm from Lynn. Yeah, right from Lynn. This beautiful town, right? Well, I got some information for you. I'm from Hollywood, California. Okay. Right? Okay, you sound like an all right guy, just like Len Kaplan, okay? Sound like an all right guy, but you gotta remember something. I'm gorgeous, and you're not. Well, uh, well, no, well. Did well, you well, well. <laughs> Do I stutter? Look at the look in the mirror. You look like Biff from Back to the Future. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, oh, come on. I'm gorgeous, come on. and oh, you're not. That wasn't Take a shower. Well, yeah. We're gonna get going See ya, now. See ya, bye-bye. Thank you. you 581-9061. I apologize for that caller, Chris. 
you that was have pretty a few. I mean, that I was mean, pretty weird. You have gorgeous Chris Duffy here, okay? Now, how did you know he wasn't gorgeous, though? You couldn't see him. You can see right through the phone. He what can. are you nuts? I have these powers. Remember, everyone around me. I think Britney's gorgeous. As far as you two, you know. You know. Hey. You know? That's all right. You can't argue everyone with that, has, guys, everyone, can you? Can everyone. you argue with that? I mean, come on. Can't argue with that. And underneath this robe, we've got the new Britney Brown, and I will show it before the show is over. It's new. It's brand new. It's going to be shown in Bellingham, but to your viewers, it'll be seen tonight. It's live in Technicolor. That's what it is, Lenny. Exclusively. All right. Okay. You're remembering my name. I'm impressed. No, Lenny. Hey. I no, 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 no Chrissy. I say okay. it's Squiggy. I, we're all through what? Squiggy. Squiggy. So, oh, oh, By the way, can I show off my new, my new knee pads? Do it. Feathers around here. It's Let's leave them. I know. It's, it's interesting pattern there. Well, thank you. Wrestling talk. Hello. You're on the air. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. We're How doing are you? Very I well think, today. <laughs> I think Chris is a dog. A dog? A dog? Well, do you oh. like dogs, Carla? Yes. Of course. Well, then that's not an insult. Okay. <laughs> That's well, it? That's all, it? Wait, wait, wait. Is this woman from Lynn, too? Yes. There you okay. go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're not getting much favorite response from the well, people from Lynn. I like dogs. Okay? No, she likes no, dogs, though. No, no, no. Lynn, you like no, dogs. No, no. That was not acceptable. This lady doesn't so understand. Like <laughs> okay? It's okay. All right, yeah. she's probably been married 25 years. Oh, no, Her no. dream oh, date oh, of all no, time don't. is to go out with gorgeous Chris Duffy. That's right. Chris. She figures that Chris. she can call the studio up and she can say, oh, I think he's a dog. Just to make someone like her husband happy, hey, lady, I'm too good for you. You understand oh, something? Oh, I'm Chris, gorgeous Chris. and you're not. Chris, Chris. I don't want to hang up now. Uh, excuse Chris. me for that. I just have a question for you, Carla. Okay. Do you... Which would you pick, the WWF or the WCW for this Saturday night, if you were going to either one? WCW. What does that very, have to do with what you're calling good. for? Well, very, very I mean, we're I, taking a little I don't want her to talk but about But that has stuff. got nothing to do with what she thinks of Chris. Well, I, we don't want Chris insulting her or vice versa. Nobody's insulting anybody. No, it was, I, Nobody? I don't think, I, I think he's cute. He is okay. cute. You're right. Okay, right. now wait a minute. Okay, mind. now she changed her mind. Okay, she calls the show and she says, I think gorgeous Chris Duffy's a dog. Okay, now she looks in the TV. She sees the beautiful blue eyes, yeah. the flaxen blonde hair, yeah. and now she's in love with gorgeous Chris Duffy. But there's one thing. Instead of Barry Manilow, you should hear Revolver. Revolver. She's What's got a that? point there. Sing it for the us. The Beatles. The, the, the album well, Revolver. Well, sing it for us. We don't know how to sing it. It's a band. Ta oh, oh, it's a band Revolver named oh, after the Leonard, album. Oh, Leonard, okay. you are tops. Okay, you are well, tops. Hey, it's hey, a, it's hey, the Beatles. Hey, if you don't like Barry Manilow, <laughs> no, he's don't the like greatest. I don't want to hang around with you. That's right. Next, Next call. call. Thank you for the call. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. 9061. Uh, Chris, Chris, can you tone it down a little bit on our callers? Our audio person might be going crazy out there. I so, mean, you know. yeah, but she started it. Okay. That, no, that's all right. I want to know a little right. bit before we take this call. I want to know a little bit more right. about you, Brittany. Well, we started right. that, but well, let's mm. let's, I let's, interrupt let's right. keep going on that. Now, you started in professional wrestling. How? When? Where? I started at the fabulous Moolah School in Columbia, South Carolina, oh. seven years ago, and mm. then I continued with Killer Kowalski, who is the best teacher I ever had, and I am still with him to this day. I am his, as I showed you once before, his IWF Ladies mm -hmm. Champion. I just won it in January, and I intend to keep it, including this week and the four matches I have scheduled next month. Now, we had the fabulous Moolah on about two years ago. Yep. Did you see, are you still in touch with Moolah? Of course. I get a Christmas card from her every year. She's did a very good friend of mine. Did she tell you that... Uh, our friends over at Foster's Donuts made her a cake and everything. I don't Valentine's think she would Day. mention something like this to me. Why not? not? To be mean, well, but why not? <laughs> why? Or well. something like it. She's fabulous. In and you're home. not. Everybody's gorgeous and fabulous. Wrestling I mean. talk. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Chris. I just want to say I think you're the best thing going right now. All right. Oh, oh. Who we got on the line here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. The other Where lady's are you husband. From? I'm from Swampscott. Okay, you're not from Lynn. Okay, now, <laughs> we're talking to a, a real live fan here of who? Chris Duffy. What? Gorgeous. Gorgeous Chris Duffy. We're on Brittany. And Brittany who? Brown. I, I've never seen her before, so I don't know. I just heard well, about her. I haven't seen any well, of her matches. Well, hey, if you want to see you know? her, you go to Bellingham High School this Friday night, and you'll see the two wrestlers of the future. Gorgeous Chris Duffy and Brittany Brown. And were we smoking? We're smoking. Can I, can I just ask Brittany a quick question? Go right ahead. Where'd you get the uh, Ric Flair robe? I like it. 
Oh, a girl at work makes all this stuff for me. And check this out. Look at your TV screen. She makes all this stuff for me, too. Isn't it wild? It is. That's cool. Isn't it great? She makes all my outfits for me. That's it's cool. Do you wrestle in that? I will Friday night. This is my. Oh, I'm definitely coming. Then. This is my sneak peek to everybody. Okay. All this right. is it. Thank you for the call. Hey, hey Len. Yeah. I just tell you, I'm going to WWF Saturday night. Okay. Because I want to see Savage kick Jake's butt. Well, come okay, see us Friday it's your night. Choice. Okay, I, I will. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you for calling. Six one. I just want to tell the fans out there that we, Ed and I, have been invited by the WCW to do some oh, backstage please. interviews. I doubt that. At uh, it's true. What's oh, the central? Yes, yeah. it is true. And tonight, <laughs> yes. uh, you won't see it on this why, show, why but are you we laughing? will. It's true. <laughs> you tonight, won't see it on this show. You're right. <laughs> I said tonight. Are you? Leonard, I'm listening. Okay. But you keep interrupting me, so now I'm going to do it to you. Do remind we you will be interviewing producer? Sting. The WCWF, the WCW, WCWF, once again. Well, maybe I'm not a federation. She's I know why you're tongue-tied. Because you're looking in the eyes of Brittany Brown, a gorgeous blonde lady right across from you, yep. and you're feeling a little bit shaky there. Could be. It's okay. It could be. It happens no, all no, the time. I'm used to it. Right. I can handle I, it. Don't look at me because I'm gorgeous. I, 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 can I promise I won't look at you. Okay. Wrestling talk. Why Hello. Why are you throwing feathers on me? Hi. Uh, do you have any trivia questions? Do we have any trivia qu questions? Ed? Put me on the spot again. I, I have a trivia question. How many feathers has Brittany lost since <laughs> the beginning of the show? <laughs> well, there's about three feet of them on the floor here. No, no, no. That's, not, that's not a legitimate trivia okay. question. How long did Chris Duffy hold the IWF heavyweight title? Hmm. There you go. Come on. You think that's... You think and you know what you'll win? That? If you get it right, you'll win an autographed Brittany Brown 8x10. What do you think of that, Carla? Do you want to... Do, sounds good to me. One year. Well, I think, I think we might have to give it to him because it was right. actually 11 months. Oh, 11 months. Right. very okay, good. Very well, good caller. Where was the caller from? Take his... Lynn. Lynn. Uh, well. <laughs> Come on, Chris. You already, <laughs> you're in. You already gave okay, it away. Okay, I'll give okay. the picture. I'll give okay. the picture. All right. Name and address and we're all set. All they right. get the so picture. I think care. Steve took that out there. Yep. I hope so. Thank you for the call. 581-9061. Live here with Brittany Brown and Chris Duffy. Gorgeous. Gorgeous Chris. Wait a minute now. Don't forget that. Wait, 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 wait. And wait, beautiful wait. Brittany Brown. Beautiful, beautiful Brittany, Brittany Brown. Brown. Okay. Doesn't that kind of like have a rhyme to it? Oh, yeah. It's, so, it's, so it's, have you. It's an anagram or something. So, have you both been yeah. in mixed tag teams or you just. Oh, yeah. You well, have we have in the past, okay. But what it is, we're going to a little secret training here, okay. Okay. I don't want to tell everyone about it. Me and Brittany have spent hours in the gym together, okay. Okay, and Another what one we want to do is on. really perfect this tag to go mm -hmm. against other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think we can do that, whether you like it or not. Remember, we're gorgeous and beautiful. What, and you're not. Well, what about baby cakes? No more baby cakes? Uh, well, or you know, cowboy? Uh, well, no, no. I saw that some, on the screen. That was maybe only she calls you baby cakes. Some, hey. In practice. In practice. In some of my ladies out there, okay, saying the call me baby cakes. Some call me gorgeous. Whatever they want, but basically, I think I'm gorgeous and you're not. Okay. Okay. I, I never. On behalf of the group, never, I, I hope we pass the audition. See, you are a Beatles fan. <laughs> I am a Beatles fan. <laughs> see, I, see, I, one, Barry one Manilow is the best, though. Come on, well, let's do the song, I'm Chris. sorry about that. I, I want to sing before this show's over. I've never called myself gorgeous. I just want you both to remember that. We're going to do a little duet well, for Len, you before this is over. I wouldn't call you gorgeous over. either. You're not that kind of guy. <laughs> not that kind of guy. Oh, okay. 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 You don't have to you're actually, insult him. You're actually Chris. amusing me today, Chris. You know, okay, hey, I, hey, I, hey, I, hey. I, now, Tony, don't you don't, start with me, okay? I'm not. I've had problems with Lenny Kaplan before. Hey, now. Okay, okay. I thought I was just trying to lie. Thank you. Okay. Now, don't you get on my case. I'm. I, okay. Five eight one nine zero six one here. If you want to oh, join this boy. melee, we are going to a break now, so you can all go get some popcorn or whatever, and we'll be right back right after this. Millions of elderly women have outlived their husbands and their savings. If you, or someone you know, are 65 or older, with little or no income and resources, Supplemental Security Income is here to help. Contact your local Social Security office. Ask about SSI. This is an important message for parents and caregivers of children with disabilities. I'm Gwen King, Commissioner of Social Security. We have new rules that determine if your child is eligible for Supplemental Security Income Disability Benefits, SSI. It can provide monthly cash payments for children with disabilities 
whose families have limited income and resources. If you were denied SSI for your child or the benefits were stopped for medical reasons any time between January 1980 and February 1990, you should soon receive a notice in the mail from Social Security. It'll explain the steps you should take to have your child's claim reviewed again under the new rules. When you receive this important letter, please don't wait to complete and return the reply card. SSI wants to help children with physical, mental, and sensory disabilities as soon as possible. Don't wait. A public service message from the Social Security Administration. Back to Wrestling Talk. We have another phone call, but before that, I just want to remind people that this Saturday is a choice of choices between the WWF and the WCW. Uh, we're not saying who's better, but we're just, you know. We're just taking a little fan poll in right, to see. Right. Uh, if you want to call and, and, and tell it's us. very unusual. Who you would go that has see. nothing to do with why we're here. And, and also, yeah. and also, yes. okay. And the IWF. If you are a great wrestling fan, mm -hmm. you can catch two shows in one weekend. True. Three shows. Okay. If you well, really now, Chris, I've had the opportunity <laughs> to see you wrestle. And I know that you're a fabulous wrestler. No. A no, gorgeous, no, gorgeous wrestler. I had to put that in. Brittany but is a Brit beautiful But Brittany, I have not had the chance to see you in, in action. And I wanted to ask you who were some of your opponents, some of your um, uh, toughest opponents. Oh, God. Shelly Francis in the LPWA, Judy mm -hmm. Martin. Judy Martin. Um, I fought Heidi Lee Morgan, Misty Blue Sims. Lani Kai was a tough match with you. Lani Kai was that. a tough match. Mm -hmm. She's tough. She's known all over the world. I oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. But hey, I beat them all. Now, have, have you no tagged problem. up with any of the, uh, any, like, have you tagged up with Linda Dallas or? Uh, no, she's too short. Remember okay. something, okay? <laughs> the only one Brittany tags with. Really? Oh, just Chris Duffy. Why is that? Oh, oh boy. Next question. So demonstrative. <laughs> uh, Wrestling talk. Hello. Whoops. You hung up on him. Like. I did not. That was kind of mean. Oh, can I just mention one thing? Yeah. I just got back from Disney World. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I brought my best friend of all time. What? Was, was that? Lennon Cap. Me? Okay. What are you setting him up for gift. something, Chris? Okay. I brought you a gift. Oh, wow. And it's for you people out in Lynn. Okay? You know, I don't look like a goof or anything, do I? But it's for you, okay? So and that I takes care of that. <laughs> right on the air, because I'm your friend. How did you know I like that? Because. Wait a minute. Gorgeous. Wait a minute. This is cool. Remember I wore that on Chris, Willow? Chris, Hey, hey, hey. Fight. You've been here a short time. I love this. Okay? I think they the should teeth. hug. Okay. Isn't this great? I think you guys should hug. Now, don't well, anyone call oh, and say, Let's Lynn not get sloppy like about it. Well, that was really we nice. I, it was very nice. Very Come nice. Come on. Oh, please. Now I have a set. You should see what I got. Wrestling Oof, talk. Hello. Hello. Chris. You're on the air. You have to I saw you matching uh, New Bedford Saturday. You're outstanding. In New Bedford Saturday, yes. Uh, you fought well, Terry Sadden? Yes. Uh, I thought I was better than outstanding, actually. I thought I was gorgeous. You look like you don't believe him when he says it, Chris. No, no, I, I no. Chris, do you know we were? Don't get me wrong. Where's, all right, where's the number one camera on me right here, okay? You look at me right here, okay? Gorgeous Chris Duffy, all right? Do I have confidence? I think so. Am I gorgeous? I know so. You're certainly not okay? lacking in confidence. Am I? Easy, Ed. Don't interrupt. This happens what? like since and, the minute and, I walked and, in here. This is ridiculous. I, I never thought this would happen, but I think. Do yeah. I have the talent, the skills? Yes. A perfect example is this caller right here. Yep. Sir, what's your name? Uh, Richard Lannon. I was one of the referees down there. Oh, you are a referee. Well, Hi, Rich. Uh, how's it going, Brittany? How you doing? I also uh, refereed uh, when what? Brittany Brown beat uh, Babyface Nelly in Hanover. For the title. Wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. You mean For the, the title. title? Oh, I see the connection here. Oh. Did you? Did you? Wait a minute. Are you fraternizing? Wait, I was just going to say that. No, with no, the officials? No, I don't think she would. I wouldn't no, do that. No, you won this title. I don't now, think you won so. this prestigious title here. No. In Hanover. Right. On January the 17th. Yep. With this gentleman as the referee, this gentleman is calling you up. There is, is no controversy. Chris. I don't I, There is no controversy. I'm don't I'm you the accuse here. Brittany Brown, the beautiful Brittany Brown, of doing anything such well, so. Because I, she's with. The gorgeous one. Call? I, Hello? I don't know. We appreciate I, the call. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, I'm Rich. 819061. I'm, I think you've created a controversy I've been, here. No, I, I'm not created nothing. I, don't I think you there start, is okay? a controversy I, here. You invited don't me be on silly. this show. I did, okay? Chris, and thank okay? you for coming. That wasn't my the real buddy, referee. What do you I love this. He, this is great. Thank you. That 
wasn't the referee. I know the referee. It's a great, it's a great hat. See? You're I knew him. I fact. met him that You're night. He came in fact. my dressing room, introduced himself. That wasn't him. You think a referee would call this show? You, you think know, they have nothing we, better we, to do than call this be show? We're staying in a few hours, okay? So, so what? So, so I don't I'm want concentrating to, on this interview. That interview. Has got nothing there's to do. Why do you keep bringing up other stuff? Here. Why you keep bringing up other leagues. You bring up the WWF, the WCW. You're not talking wrestling about talk. us, This too. isn't the IWF This publicity. is Chris Duffy Euro. and Brittany Brown no. talk. No, this is not wrestling talk. I think we should step aside here. Can I do one thing? Can I do one thing? Get the camera on me, okay? I want to do my sting invitation. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the heck was and, that? And also, ready? Also, Roxanne. <laughs> Not that sting. Put on the red light. Not that Roxanne. sting, Chris. Chris. My oh, ears. boy. I think there may be a little bit of touch wait, of no wait a minute. touch of envy. No, no. See, I think <laughs> that we're stepping off the real issue here, and the real issue here is that we have a referee from the IWF. Yeah. An what? alleged referee, referee from the, the I want said proof. Was the, was the man said I could say I, I'm Barbara you know, Streisand, you know, and you might know, believe it too. Personally, I think this is kind of like almost like a Ronnie Garvin thing where he didn't defend the belt. Yeah. I'm not saying you're not going to defend your title here, but I think the title is a tad tarnished. The it looks pretty that, clean and shiny to me. I know for the fact that a referee calls the show. An hey, alleged how doing, referee. Brittany? How you doing, Chris? Chris, did you win that it's match? People like, you know, I get <laughs> aggravated and agitated at. Just shut your mouth. I'm getting a little aggravated, call. too. Okay. Take I, the next call. Leonard, you're in charge. Do, reason, it. Do, it. do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. The do reason, it. The reason that I bring up other leagues is because I'm trying to not have you hurt. Have me hurt. The hell with I'm, him. I'm, have me hurt. Okay, I'm playing the mind. Next up call. Issues and hand zip land. it. Zip it. Zip it. Wrestling talk. Hello. No, this is not this is Morton Downey. This is wrestling talk. Hello, Hello Len. Hi. Morton Downey. Um, if I could just ignore these worthless preliminaries for a second, I'd just like to uh, oh. ask you if you think that um, the, <laughs> end of the, the end of the WWF is near. Well, uh, obviously you mean the oh, Vince McMahon's the appearance on Donahue's show and Chris, yeah. the uh, Larry King interview. I don't think the end is near. I really don't. I mean, I think there are scandals of it's this type that appear. Side. What do you think Vince all... McMahon is? The final curtain? Or do you think he's Frank well, Sinatra? Can, can I... The end is near. <laughs> and so I face. Sit down, honey. The final curtain. <laughs> I mean, look at baseball. My friends. Learn how to oh, now I'll we're getting into baseball. Clear. Chris. <laughs> So can, can, I just make a, a can I just make a, a comparison here? Baseball survived Pete Rose's controversy. Wrestling can survive, I think. Vince McMahon's uh, controversy. Much, much greater magnitude controversy. because Pete Rose and, and wasn't involved. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait I'm a minute. sorry, Carla. What was that? Hello? More magnitude than the Pete Rose issue because this is the hierarchy of the whole promotion involved in this. True. It but Pete Rose wasn't a part of the. I mean, it wasn't like Bart Giamatti went out and uh, yeah. sexually harassed players, and you know. Oh, you have a point. I mean, well, this is really unprecedented in professional sports today, and you don't know what's going to happen. It's. It, I, I. I. It's just my gut feeling that it may go into a slump for a while, but it'll come back stronger. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you have any word on uh, the attendance so far for uh, WrestleMania 8? How many tickets they sold? Seventy-two thousand five hundred. No, I mean they haven't sold out yet. I just want to know how many they've sold up to now. They will sell. Seventy-two thousand five hundred. Now I want to get to the bottom of one thing. Who the heck is preliminary that's here tonight? Both of you. I mean, you have w okay. the champion. Oh, a champion and an ex-champion that will probably be the champion as of this Friday night. I showed you this. How many times is your TV not tuned in properly? Can you check your color? Can you check your tint? Can you check the sharpness you and the brightness? Excuse me? Can you even wear that around your waist? Okay. Excuse me? Can I say one thing without being rude? Go ahead, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, remember something, okay? Now, I've been wrestling nine years now, okay? Remember, I'm gorgeous and you're not, okay? Now, it takes this a while. It, no, no, he won't hear me out, okay? He's, I'm, he's, hey, he's, it takes a while to have your claim to fame in the so-called, you know, WCW or World Wrestling Federation, okay? I, okay, when I went to wrestling matches as a kid, I saw guys like Roddy Piper, I saw guys like this and that and that, who you thought were Preliminary wrestlers back then. That's right. right? Preliminary. Yeah. You know what I meant. Yes, but right? I'm a champion, been around so is for, he. Excuse me, you've been around for nine years and haven't made it yet. How long is it going to take you? He's you know? been a champ. What are you oh, nuts? To the IWS, though. Hey, hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. You don't understand. First of all, no. you don't watch everything that you see on Channel 25. Oh, I realize that. I. You don't understand. 
All right, I've been all over Europe. I've been to Japan. Do you follow me on the road? I no, not. no. Okay. Well, I mean, in, you I, see what you see here Chris, in Boston. Can I say it. one thing? Right. There is more to wrestling than just WWF and mm. WCW. But he doesn't now, understand but, that. I do. Now, wait a minute. No, there's don't. no magnitude. Yeah. There's no magnitude as far as popularity. Just as many people go out to see independent shows. Can I say that? Well, apparently not him. In, independent shows. Well. I don't, I'm not really interested in well, I'm well, just, then hang I'm the damn just saying, if you're, going, if you're going to see Chris Duffy and Brittany Brown, I, I haven't seen you, but I know for a fact Chris Duffy Gorgeous is a Chris fantastic... Duffy and Brown. Thank you, Lenny. You're doing He's a good job. He's a fantastic job. wrestler. Okay. I just want to make this point. And that if you had a chance to see him, I think really you'd think a lot differently. There are hundreds and hundreds of wrestling promotions in, in the United States, and it took... You can't... Just it took a bunch of them to make a WWF and a bunch sure. of them to make a WCW. So every, right. you know, you Has really can't. Has this caller ever seen me live? I, I think I've seen you on the, uh, on the matches with like the, um, when you you think done your butt whipped and all that. You think. To the point, to the you point. Think. With who? With who? Okay, with who? I, who I don't know. I don't Laura. remember any specifics. I just remember, I think I remember seeing him on TV or something. Are you from Lynn? No, I'm from Swampstone. WCW or WWF caller? Uh, I'm going to the no. WWF because, I mean, I have no way of getting to Worcester. So. I see. What if they were both in Boston? Which one would you go to? Um, I, I think I'd go to the WCW simply because I've never seen it. It's, well, and the card seems more interesting. So. Did you know that I wrestled for the WCW? Uh, that's quite impressive. Well, Thanks. I did in October. I did, and it was wonderful. It was Ladies Battle Royals. Mm -hmm. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye. Oh, Five eight one nine zero six. How did you do in that battle? Room? Quite well. Oh, very good. Well, I guess we're all kind of united in uh, uh, trying to convince. Well, this we're united that... in one fact, Len. Mm -hmm. And the one fact is, yes, you can't base wrestling on two promotions. That's you can. And that's what you they all do. do. Just because. Really, one promotion. There's a lot of people out there no, that only know about the WWE. Leonard, I've wrestled in Europe. Mm -hmm. I wrestled in Japan, okay? Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of wrestlers over there that are amazing. Mm -hmm. That will be absolute stars in the WWF. Mm -hmm. But they're not here. They're over there. Right. So the people don't know. Because remember, I'm gorgeous. Well, we go quiet here for a second. Here. We, we have to go now, believe it or not. Well, Leave? I just yeah. good? I have one, one good. more comment. All right. For all the fans at home and all the people here in the studio, I just have one thing to say. If that was a true referee, not to bring anything up, but if that was a true referee, then I really believe that there is some sort of title controversy. I don't believe that this title was won fairly. I, I, have, a, I have a real, I just have a problem with that. Don't you start, I told you before, okay? Don't you start. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not starting, no, Brittany? Brittany, I don't think you I, should take him seriously. I, no. First of all, if that was a real referee, then you call back in the next 10 seconds, okay? Give him 10 seconds to call back. It's too late. The show's over. The show's not over because we have a little controversy here. This man is accusing me of winning this title falsely. It's the I, Okay, okay. The phone Wrestling talk. Hello. Hello. Is that you? Hello. No, I guess not. See, Hello. Hello. Somebody else saying the other way. Wait a minute. No, I'm Listen, sorry. Hey, I don't think this title go was to wrap won it up. fairly. Let it no. along with Ed Whitty. Uh, Eddie, you all right? Uh, Taylor made make sure you watch Medford Cable Channel 3 and you'll see wrestling talk and maybe you'll be Taylor made
<laughs> Welcome to Wrestling Talk. I'm Leonard Kaplan, and to my right is my co-host Ed Whittier, and and to my left, of course, is the beautiful Brittany Brown, yes. returning here on Wrestling Talk because uh, now for you Medford residents who have never seen the previous show, which were supposed to have been played, but we'll forgive uh, a certain person for uh, not playing that tape. Um, <laughs> um, Ed and Brittany have a little controversy going. Ed accused Brittany on the last show that she was on of and, and being in cahoots with a referee. And I have to make something clear. About an outcome something of a match. Something clear to everyone at home, including you, Brittany, that there was a contract, several, three in fact, that we usually have our uh, guests sign that uh, enables them to come on the show. Now, mm -hmm. you fulfilled one, mm -hmm. this is two. And there may not be the third one because I'm going to take care of that one somehow because I don't understand. What? She signed a contract. That's the only reason she is here for what happened last week, Glenn. You're a nervous wreck. He should be. You're shaking like a leaf. What? I hope he takes care of that contract as well as he took care of me last week. <laughs> what a great job. Now, I realize there was some violence perpetrated, but this can't happen at the Medford studio because we have a lot of nice stuff here. We've even brought out Oh, we don't have nice stuff in Lynn. Yeah, I'm not saying that, but I mean, we're guests here. We only come here once a month. Well, we I'm are, not the one Nothing's going to happen. Here. Nothing's going to happen provided he doesn't accuse me of absolutely ridiculous things. See, now, you've got to understand now, and sticking up for Ed, I have to stick up for him because he is my co-host, my partner here. He was being an investigative journalist and, and making these accusations. He's, oh, he's, is that what he's a, a referee? For? I thought he was an interviewer. I thought he's he an was interviewer. Co and an interviewer. I, I didn't know. But I do investigate the, the things Enquirer. outside the professional I mean, rings. Also, you've got you've got to put yourself in his shoes. A referee <laughs> or a so-called referee called us live on a the so, air. An alleged referee. Yes. But you but you seem to know him. You knew when, him when and you were Chris talking Duffy to him. knew him also. Oh no. Speaking of Chris Duffy, he was supposed to be on the show today, and I don't know where he is. I don't know what happened to him. Well, I had to quickly there's the chair over chairs. there. Chris the chair. I, I think he's on his way. I'm sure he's on his way. Yeah. He's probably, you should have seen the traffic on the highway. Oh, it was terrible. Really? I'm lucky I get here on time. Well, right, well, well, we apologize to all the fans out there. Uh, we are we have Brittany, here. and uh, Chris Duffy is supposed to make an appearance here, but mm -hmm. she seems to know where he is. We are live here at 395-5993. That's 395-5993. Please do not call if it's after April 23rd. Today's the 23rd, yes. But if it's April 23rd and you're living in Medford and you're watching us and you think we're not live, you're wrong. We are. We're live. 395-5993. Are you done? I like that number. I oh. memorized it finally, so I'm saying it. That's good. You even say that over the phone when I ask for it. Call 395-5993. <laughs> anyway, we're here to talk to beautiful Brittany Brown about her career, and uh, we also have some clips of you, Brittany. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's see him. Well, not yet. Let, let, let's set it up <laughs> let's for us. Let's see a little We're going to introduce now. You, you, Fine. We forget now. Here we go again. The people of Medford have not seen you. Explain who oh, you are. Oh, I'm sure they have. And you I'm are the... kind of well known. <laughs> you are a women's wrestling champion. Oh, yes, I certainly your, am. Your, can I lift your belt You can lift here? my belt. Okay, here's your belt. The last it's time somebody awful heavy. that, something it bad is. happened. Well, you coolest. What? As long as you don't accuse him of <laughs> having a tainted belt, I mean, this is, so to you know, speak. This is a belt. They don't give this to people that... Uh, tilt, it, tilt it down. They, they don't give this to people that didn't deserve it. That's right. Uh, she's holding on to it. Who have you defended it against, Brittany? Many, many different people. Shelly Francis, Heidi Lee Morgan, Babyface Nelly, Jamie West. We've Sorry, had Jamie West. All right, on. okay, so, okay. We, Since the air is, is, I don't know... Do you apologize for last week? I apologized to you before this show started. Well, and you came up with an attitude publicly again. Publicly apologize. No, Did you apologize don't back her into to a corner, me publicly? Ed. Publicly apologize. Did you apologize to me? Let's take this phone what call. What do I have to Phone apologize. call. You accused me phone of call. taking... Wrestling talk, hello. Oh. Wrestling talk, hello. We lost him. Well, they at least, talk too long. At least I broke up the little... Now, you guys, don't back each other into a corner. You're both sorry. No, I apologize okay, to him. Okay, okay. Maybe not All publicly, right. but okay, do I, I get an apology for accusing me of not winning I was that being, as Len was saying, an investigative journalist, but will that's passed. Okay, okay? fine. That's, that's passed. fine. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I hear phones ringing out there. You shook hands, and I missed it. I was paying attention to the phone. That's right, Len, because things happen quick. You should be able to do two things at once like I, most I, people. I should. Now, speaking of doing two things at once, before we take the phone calls that are coming in, we have this Brittany Brown poster, which Brittany will sign for whoever wins the trivia question, the answer to the tri trivia question, but first, Ed will give the question. 
Ed will give the question, right, Ed? He was shaking it all over the place. Oh, I'm Dylan. sorry. Okay. Um, it gets a little shaky. <laughs> all right. There's the, now I can shake it. The trivia question okay. of the day. All right. Uh, you want to? We'll give a ladies trivia question. How's okay. that? That doesn't mean that the people that can call are only ladies. Right. Thanks, Lynn. Okay. Um, back in 1986, uh, Wendy, uh, excuse me, Wendy Richter was the world women's champion in the WWF. The fabulous Moolah defeated her, but she wrestled under a mask. What was her masked name? What was her name under the mask? There you go. What was she known as? Do you know? Mask? Of course. I think. Well, you're ineligible to, you wouldn't want an uh, autographed picture no, of yourself. No, I don't think I mean, that I want that. Now, how did you get into professional wrestling and why? Well, it was just something I really liked from the time I was really a mm -hmm. tiny tot. I watched it every week on Channel 56, and then I started out at the Fabulous Moolah School in Columbia, South Carolina, and I learned how to wrestle there, learned quite a bit there. Mm -hmm. And then I continued with Killer Kowalski, who I work for his promotion now mm. also, I and many others. A phone call. Somebody wants to talk to you. Fine. Wrestling Talk, hello. Hello. I heard somebody That's moving around with a dial tone. That's the second one. You got a lot like of hangups. They have hangups. Crank calls beyond belief. Well, Brittany, you be nice to our callers, right? Of course. All right then. Then call in at three nine five five nine nine three. That's three nine five 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 nine nine three. Just checking your reflexes. You want to make a fool out of me? You no, I don't. Make me forget the number. I'm sorry, Len, but you said I was trembling earlier. Okay, <laughs> we're sitting here with the IWF ladies champion. Tell us, uh, do you have any upcoming matches that uh, I have a really interesting upcoming match coming up on Sunday, May 17th at the Barry Memorial Auditorium in Barry, Vermont. Mm -hmm. And that is a vacant ladies title match. Um, and I certainly expect to be leaving with that title too. No. Phone call, phone call. Wrestling talk, hello. You're on the air. This is Dougie. Hello. Dougie, how are you? Yeah, what's the uh, pink assassin going to be on? Do you like the what? pink assassin? What do you mean when the pink... <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Well, what about beautiful Brittany Brown? He's ugly. Oh, oh that's rude. See you later. Three nine five five nine nine three. We're sorry about that. He must be gay. Of Brittany. course I'm ugly to a gay person. Oh, Good well, point. I, I don't know. It's... If he likes the pink assassin... Well, I... No, we won't get into that, don't get, will don't, we, don't, Ed? Don't, I heard don't. about you and the pink whoa, whoa, assassin. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Well, you know, let's not no, start. We're, we're, she's just teasing. No, she's teasing. She's teasing. 3955993 if you want to talk to so Brittany Brown. So she's allowed to tease. All right, tease her. Can, can he tease you with, with impunity? Within reason. Within reason. Yeah. There. Okay. All right. That was I'm clever. Ha I'm happy. That now. was real clever. Thank you. Wrestling talk. Hello. Hi there. Hi. My name is, <laughs> my name is Peter, and uh, I missed the show last time. Okay. And well. so I was just wondering what the beef is. What, what Between happened? Brittany and Ed? Yeah. Well, well, why don't you let me explain? Okay, oh, let's fine. This young lady over here, uh -huh. okay, a, a, a referee that uh, was a referee in her title match on January 17th of this year, uh, called the show and was being very nice, I would have to say, and uh, I accused her of, say, winning the title shady. What do you think? I mean, if a referee calls the show, I mean, I made that point at the beginning of the show that you had the right to ask the question, but you sort of dwelled on it a little too long, and you took it a little bit too seriously. And he was very accusatory also. Yeah. Because too serious? Somebody allegedly, That's not serious? first of all, allegedly called, okay? There was a person on there, yes, but he was allegedly the referee. See, there's a okay? difference. We, we have no proof that that was the mm -hmm. referee of my title match on January 17th. He we seemed, told he him seemed to know you very well. That's all. That he could call back and he could talk to us. Did he call back? No. Somebody's calling back, though. Wrestling Talk, hello. Hello. You're on Ed, the air. Hello, Ed and uh, Leonard. Hi. How are you doing? Welcome back to Medford, guys. Well, thank you. Well, I'll tell you, I want to talk wrestling and I want to talk a little bit about WrestleMania. All right. All right. Uh, what did you think of uh, the return of the Ultimate Warrior? I thought it was interesting, but a little bit suspicious that his music was on hand to be queued up at the well, moment. Well, would you like to know even something more suspicious about that? Yeah. All right. Uh, in this week's, in, in last Sunday's Herald, in the wrestling, say, in the wrestling par portion of the paper, there was an uh, article on that, and it stated that we were not even supposed to know that the Ultimate Warrior was back in the WWF. Mm. As soon as Hulk Hogan started getting his butt kicked by uh, Sid Justice, they were supposed to cut the signal off from Hoosier Dome 
and we were not supposed to find out until the following Saturday that the Ultimate Warrior was back in the WWF. I don't now, mean to be rude, but what does this have to do with beautiful Brittany Brown and the International true. Wrestling Federation? I'm sorry. Next call. Don't be rude. Wait a minute. Don't be rude. He's okay, making a sweetheart. point. Hold on, sweetheart. I want to we'll, know why. We'll let him stay on. I want to know what you have to do with wrestling as far as women's. Do you hold any titles? What's well, the, have you been watching the show by any chance? I mean, call it. Pay attention here. Upside down, upside down. This is, oh, sorry. You, this I is mean, a substantial belt here. What do you think that is? Well, are, that are isn't you, as big as the WWF belt. I think it is. We got to move along. No, all right. 3955993. Thanks I'll, for the call. Caller, you've made a point that uh, about titles and what's important and what's not important. WWF is not the only thing around, as I said before, and that, hey, there's other titles in the world. Let's reiterate the trivia question. I'm doing that in person. Can we show my footage yet? Can we? Well, they're queuing up the footage. We'll, I guess we'll do we can that. You that. can win this Brittany Brown poster if you guess Ed's trivia question. Boy, you're testy tonight. Just a little impatient. You want me to give, all right, the your trivia question. Yes, I don't I'm remember. I'm sorry, Len, I'm a little nervous, okay? Pay attention to your time? job. Here we go, look, everybody pay attention. All right, now we've got the footage. Now, all right, Look we'll at that, that's the beautiful Brittany Brown there showing okay, her stuff. Okay, now that is for the LPWA, that yeah. is out of... Um, Laughlin, Nevada. Nevada. And look how long me. ago was this? Look at me, look at me, I don't know. Did you grab hair there? I don't grab hair, You're, no. Wait, 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 what's that? No, uh-oh. You don't grab uh -oh. hair? Oh. What do you call that? But do that's what you call a beal, Ed. Do you know anything about wrestling? A what? I do, <laughs> but... Say it again. It's a beal. A beal? A beal. I never heard of that. I'm sorry. That's interesting. It is. Why do they call it a beal? That's... that's what it's called. That's the, the Brittany move. Brown hair pull is what I it's, think it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A beal. I'll have to look that up in the dictionary. <clears throat> Very interesting. In the wrestling dictionary. The LPWA. Now there's a there's a commentator over there. He has a mustache, and he used to, oh here's some more stuff. Oh, some more footage. Okay, Look now at that. that is against who? This is against Shelly Francis, who is the number two girl in the LPWA. Look at that now. Check no, this no. out, huh? Wow. Again, by the hate. Ooh. Nice, nice. Wait a minute. What do you call there. that? That's what are you talking about, Lynn? Your eyes open spin. on that monitor I saw. Over there. I. Well, I but, didn't see it. Watch. So you'll probably pull. No, wait. Oh, now, what's this? this? Now, this is against oh, this is Jamie, Jamie West. West. Now, is she also a champion? Yes, yeah, she's the United States Wrestling Federation Women's Champion. Now, you were not champion at this time. You were... That's correct. Okay, you were going for her title. Yes. Now, now what are you shoving a referee for? Now, oh, you in the stomach. Because he what gets in the way. Now, look, That's look, look. What a tub of lad he oh, was. Look, wow. I dropped him right down like a sack of potatoes. What are you... You hitting officials? I hit an official. Of course. He, he got in, Ed. He got in the way. I've explained this before. How come he you got, didn't get suspended? Did you get suspended for no. that? No. No. I did not. I did oh, not. Oh wait a minute! Did you hurt that referee? Yes, I did. If they'd continue to show the footage, then you can see what happened. Now look, you no. shove, Now you hit him again. This is a different match. I broke his jaw that night, Ed. You broke his jaw. I did, and he refused to ref my match the following well, night. I, I would say so. I can mean, can you imagine? That's amazing. Can you imagine? The you should be fired from the ring. Wait officials. a minute now. He oh, yes. Now look what you're you doing to me here. Now these people, again, here are more people that are interfering in something that has absolutely this nothing to do with them. Some male wrestlers come out. They think they can control us, but can they? No, of course they cannot. Now if you pay attention here, you can see how powerful now that, that and is how also strong. Jamie, Jamie West. Yes, it is. You can see how strong and how powerful I am. Okay? Now you look at this wrestler, this male wrestler with the white dungarees on. You watch what happens here. And when you, you watch how too? strong and how powerful Brittany Brown can be. Okay? You just pay attention here. We're okay. just flo throwing these suckers out one by one, little by now little. Look, there now goes you one. Just hit the guy in the oh, outside. yeah, well, he's only like five, seven, five, eight, anyway. Oh, so no you're picking no on problem. short people now. No hey. problem. Oh, no what? problem. I'm, so, no. I'm, I'm speaking what I see. I here, pick man. on I'm sorry. any size, anything, anything. Just No, this guy's what? bigger than me, the one with the white pants on here. Yeah. This is Jerry Seavey, professional wrestler for seven years now. Now, okay, what? now you're shoving him now, look, around. He's 265, not an ounce of fat. Now, what do I do here, folks? Tell him what I do, Ed. Oh, you are a Yes. Yes. And you're Goodbye, not by the ring? sweet prince. Now look at you. Goodbye, gonna be carried out for sweet out prince. Loud here. Okay. Yeah, that little guy was just highly upset with me because I, I um. You punched put him a for no reason. That's on his pretty forehead. gutsy to do all that stuff with all those guys. I mean. I, I have no problem with that. Have you ever gotten uh, hurt no. like using those tactics? No. No. Absolutely we got a phone not. Call. Ooh, let's let's take this phone call. See what the you're call is like. Wrestling talk. Hello. What? You're on the air. Hi. Yeah, I want to get a little picture. Okay, okay, you gotta answer the trivia question. Okay, good. 
Okay. Do you know it? What's the question? Repeat okay, it. I'll repeat the question. Back in 1986, uh, Wendy, Wendy Richter was defeated by the fabulous Mueller, uh -huh. but the fabulous Mueller wrestled under a mask. No, you've got that all backwards. No, you. I don't. Call, what do you yes, think the you do. Is? It was Wendy Richter that was under he a mask. Under no, it under. was not. No, come it on It was now. the fabulous the moon was under the hood. What's that? The pink man? The, the pink man. The who? The, who? No, 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 the pink uh, man. See, everybody's calling and accusing you of things tonight. What are you tonight? talking about? Hang up on you. Goodbye. Every, see? And <laughs> what? No, come everybody's on. Everybody's calling and he accusing wasn't, you of being a pink man. That was not about Ed. He, he was guessing something else. He didn't probably hear Call the question. Call that caller if you have the yeah. answer to that, to that yeah. question. I I'm sorry. Not. I got a little angry. <laughs> Why uh, should he call back if you hung up on him? Do we have to have on again? I mean. Again, yes. Now, who's rude? Leonard. Leonard. Who is rude That today? was. I am sorry, and I have to side with uh, Brittany Leonard, on this. Why do you have to side with anybody? I'm your co-host. You, you, you reached over. I'm supposed to be controlling the phones. He reaches his arm over, and he hangs up. Rudely first reached of all, his arm. Now, first there's of all, the call. Me back. Yeah, first paranoid. of all, Len, way back in the beginning, you call me up, and you say, we're having this young lady on, Brittany Brown. And I say, well, OK. I said, well, what, what's happening? What's going on? Well, she's the IWF champion. We're going to have her on three times. I said, three times? Yeah. We don't know who she is. I mean, <laughs> Ed. We and look what she did she to me. Who do we the have? last time? Who? I don't know who you are. I know who you are now. Well, I mean, you're a big wrestling fan then, aren't you? Oh, see? I think we should do away with these contracts because... What a great co-host you picked. I... Really? No, I'm sorry, Did you, did you interview for this? Did he somebody have to Paul fail a test to get the successor. job? He was Paul Paul picked him. Paul picked him? Yeah. Well, then... Normally, under, a, mistake, under then. a better frame of mind, I can speak... But I mean, I agreed. I mean, but I, I, mean, come on, I agreed with Ed, with Ed being <laughs> I had nothing to drink. You had nothing to drink. I nothing. think not. Ed, do we have another trivia question for people that might not be too familiar All right. with, with well, the answer for that one? Why don't you give one this time? Since you like to put me on the spot all the time. <laughs> okay. All right. We, all right. We have another phone call. Saved by the bell. Wrestling Talk, hello. Hi, I'd like to speak with Brittany. Okay. Uh, Brittany, I just want to really? say, why do you have such an attitude towards Ed? Thank you very much. Well, I think that you're just picking on him too much and that you have too much of an attitude. Well, I'll tell you what it is, and I'm being totally honest with you here, okay? I will tell you what it is. We were having a fine time on the show a couple of weeks ago when we were in Lynn, okay? The show was going just fine. The callers were calling in. Everything was fine. Lennon was nice to us. All of a sudden, Ed decided to accuse me of winning my title illegally. I don't see Now, how is a woman supposed to take that? How would you take that? How would I take it? I would I'm take I'm talking it. to her. I said a woman. See? Well, I the just have to see the match, but I mean, I just think that you're out wrongly yelling at him and just being rude. Thank you I think much, he though. deserves it, though, and he deserves a lot worse. Isn't there so a nicer manner that you could handle this in? Pardon me? Isn't there a nicer manner that you could handle this in? I tried. We apologized. She, she has to handle we, it with we brutality. Shook hands. But, but then he continues, and he keeps bringing up the fact that he thinks my title is tainted, and I just... It's just not true, and I don't like being Funny. accused of that. So, I mean, why get carried over nothing, really? It is something. When you win Absol a title, absolutely. to be accused... You've already won it, though. It's like it's over with, and now you're getting carried away with him accusing you wrongly or whatever the case may be. Well, I think you should talk to Ed about this, and you should tell him to stop carrying it on. I'm not if he carrying stops it talking on. about it, then there won't be a problem. I'm seeing this here, and it's you. You're the one that it seems to okay. have an attitude. I don't know. Thank call, you, call thank you very wait, much. I'm going to give this you, caller a, another chance for something you else. Would you like my trivia question, Call? I have a new trivia question. There was a group, uh, a tag team called the Skyscrapers in the WCW. Who were they? Well, she's rolling her eyes at you. Oh, I'm not too into the wrestling. No? Okay, well. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody else? 3955993? And, and thank somebody for being on my side. My own co host sometimes probably will be mother. on my side. How much did you pay it's that person to call? What? I'm just kidding. Oh, come all right, on, I come get it on. Now. You've said that to me before. How much have you paid that person to call? This is true. It probably was his. You know, I, you know what I think what? your problem is. You, the show's a little bit successful, a lot successful, and you're getting a little bit of an ego. I think. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. you, you don't want to be uh, trampled on with. Uh, Why should I be trampled on? First of all, shaking again. Oh, here we go. All right, all right. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Well, well, do you know the answer to that? To that Who were the original skyscrapers? Absolutely. Do you want me to give it out? No. Do you know that? No, I do not. Okay. Okay, and maybe Brittany, do you have a trivia question that you'd like oh. to give to our callers at home? How about a phone well, call for us? Okay, go ahead. 
You sure? Okay. I'm sure. Wrestling talk. Hello. Yes, I have uh, one quick question, and I'd like to answer the trivia question. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I was in Houston, Texas a couple weeks ago, and I saw uh, Kevin Von Erich fighting mm. the WWF. I was wondering if you know anything about that. Kevin Von Erich. Yeah, Kevin Von Erich, yeah. Our Ring Dirt people know that answer, and if you stay tuned to Ring Dirt, which is coming up on the hour, they will give you the answer to that. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, is the answer uh, Danny Spivey and uh, Sid Vicious? That's Absolutely correct. Absolutely right. Good. That is very good. Yay. And you win a Brittany Brown poster. Autograph. Yes. Autographed by Brittany Brown herself, and she'll autograph it oh, for you right on camera right here. Now. Okay. okay. Here you have comes to give the her pen. Name. What's your name, Carla? And don't write anything derogatory. She won't. What's your name, sir? Paul. Paul. To okay, Paul. you got it. Make and sure you name. stay on the line and give your address. Yeah, I will. Okay, well, thank, thank you, you for the call. Yep, thank bye bye. Three nine five five nine nine three. Now, Brittany, I like this. See, your attitude swung a little bit. The woman is the the woman call that called a little earlier. Uh, yeah, and she can't be all bad. Spoke the truth, and uh, she signed, I'm glad to see the change. She signed an autograph of somebody. Bad now show people that do to not, Paul. Look bad how proud people he will do not be. sign autographs. Paul, Paul, look right, at that. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll roll with that. Bad people do not sign okay. autographs. That's right. Okay. If, I, if I was a bad person, like you have continuously been trying to accuse me of, not you, of course, you've always stuck up for me Thank with you. good reason. <laughs> if I was a bad person, I wouldn't be handing out autographs. I wouldn't be handing out pictures. I wouldn't talk to little kids okay, in the shows. Okay, all right. I'm going to interview you now with no kind of discussion against the title or anything all else. Right. I'm going to ask you, have you ever been injured in the ring? Yes, I have. Um, mostly in practice, I've been hurt. Mm -hmm. I have a, a few bumps and bruises every now and then. Um, one I got right here. My, my face was dragged along the ring ropes mm -hmm. a week and a half ago in Jewett City, Connecticut, when I fought Jamie West for my title. Now, the, the, now these ropes. Now, Jamie these did are that not, for you? Yes, she did. That's vicious. These are not Jamie actually uh, ring ropes, but they kind of resemble it. Now, aren't there this uh, rolled steel? Yes. inside of them. Now, yes. did you get cut by that? I did. I was bleeding. In fact, I think it was one of the few women's matches that there was blood dripping. Most wow. Most women's matches, there, there's not blood. Now what, now, what was her thing there? What, what was her so-called beef against you with that? She just, um, I don't know what her problem was that night. She was quite quite obnoxious that night. I mean, she's night. quite the fan favorite, and she wow. seems not to project anymore. a lot of sweetness and light there. Not anymore. It would be interesting if we had uh, Jamie on with Brittany sometime, like sitting right that, there. That For would the be third interesting. and last show. Yes, how about it? I mean, maybe. Brittany's willing to do it. Why wouldn't you be? Hey, I'll as long as no they problem. stay over that side of the studio, I have no problem with anything. Okay. Uh, I think we Kabish. need uh, Why don't you repeat right. your trivia question, and then we'll okay. give them another one. Okay, the same trivia question from before. Now, this is kind of hard. Maybe I should go to a different one. But you've but said I it won't. two different ways, though, Ed. All right, then you say now, it. No, 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 no. I want to know what your real question is. Now, I'm being serious here. I'm not being sarcastic, okay? Okay. First, you said that Moolah defeated Wendy Richter, and Wendy Richter wrestled under a hood. Okay, I didn't mean that. I meant. Okay, then you said it the other way. Okay. So, why don't you ask the people the real I'll re question? I'll reiterate so they the can question give you the here. Real answer. Okay, the real question is if you haven't gotten it before, is in 1986, the fabulous Moolah wrestled under a mask and defeated Wendy Richter for the world women's title. What was her mask name? Okay. Okay, that's, that's all right. Now it's two to one. And now we're going to do another, a, a, an easier trivia question, okay? For WWF wrestling fans, who hit Randy Savage over the head with a guitar? Oh. Many years ago, or just a few yeah, years that's ago. That's not too easy. We got hands all over the place. Here. Yeah, but that's the wrestling okay. talk crew right. are ineligible. Well, for give that the answer. phone number, Len. Okay. Three nine five five nine nine three is the good. phone number if you want to answer okay. that question or talk to beautiful Brittany Brown. Wrestling talk. Hello. Yeah, was that a, a trivia question? Was that the pink lady? The Everybody pink lady. keeps bringing wait, up pink. Now wait, he didn't say pink assassin. Who's pink lady? Pink lady, Fabulous Moolah. Wrong. No, it was not. Oh, I see. Not, okay. It was not the pink lady. Okay. See? What I about the other trivia everybody. question? They were not making fun of me. Carla? Yes? What about the other trivia question? Who hit Randy Savage over the head with a guitar? Uh, Honky Talk Man. That is there correct. There you go. Okay. Now, yeah. you now, win another. You can, you can win this several other prizes we have also. Right. But do you have any more, more pictures? Absolutely. Okay. I want a picture. All right. Okay. You got it. Okay. Leave your name with the, uh, the Leave operator. Leave your name. What's, what's your name, Carla? Ralph. Ralph? Yes. Okay. okay, do we have another pen here? We have another pen, but do we have... Another picture? We don't have it. Well, she can sign it offset. 
the pictures are Okay, did you already give now. your name and address to the to the operator? Not yet, no. Not yet. Well, stay on the line. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank stay you on the line for and thank you for the call. Now, at the top of this hour, we will be going to our special ring dirt segment with James E and Rick Lloyd. All the dirt you ever wanted to know about professional wrestling and uh, it's it's going to be quite interesting. And Ring Dirt is a relatively new segment on here on Wrestling Talk, but it's been a successful one here in the Medford area as well as in Lynn. And we just... Chris Duffy? What about Chris Duffy? What? Get out of here. Oh. Excuse me, everybody. What? It's almost time for a break anyway. Ed is going to take... Okay. Over. All right. Okay. What what's going on here? I don't know. He said something about Chris Duffy's He's out in the, out outside or something. Well, maybe he's finally showed up. Well, you were sitting right next to him. Can't you hear? I heard. I. Well, tell me what they said. I heard Chris's name mentioned. Yeah, Chris is out in the parking lot. I don't know, hitting his car or something. Maybe he's <laughs> mad. Nobody will let him in the. St what's so? What is funny about that? What exactly is so funny about that? <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you wearing there? What, what do you, you got on your hand? I have, oh, I, these are nice. No, no, no. I what's on your finger? My, I have a nice ring from my grandfather. Gave oh, yeah. Me. It's very attractive. All right. Tell us a little more about your career. What, what are you asking me questions like this for, anyways? Oh, you're going to get wise again now. All right. I see how uh, the What do you want to know go. about my career? All right. You told us about your injuries. Is this the only title you've no. held? No. Would you like to hear more about my injuries? Go on. Okay. My injuries. I fractured my neck in 19, I'd say probably 85, and I was out of the business for three years, and I just got back in in June of 1989, if that's any of your business. It absolutely is. Okay. Okay, now okay. you're holding my belt again. Now, and I just want to bring up something that a certain lady caller uh, spoke about before, that, uh, yes, you did win this in a very... Unorthodox no, fashion. No, I, I thought with we a, with settled a little, this. With a little referee payoff, perhaps. Oh, oh. See? Well, this See, is now, how better than it was before. Now? See this belt? This belt, as I said last week, is tarnished. This belt has been defended oh. a few times, and who knows how those matches went. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, Brittany, but if I have to take your abuse, you have to take it from me, that this belt right here is tarnished. This belt... <laughs> First of all, Just, it's about the shiniest belt I've ever seen. I don't okay? mean tarnished in a respect. It is not tarnished. Well, we have I to take a it. phone call right now. Oh. Wrestling Talk Live. Hello. Hi, my name's Brian. How you doing? Good. Do you have a question for our, our guest? Um, I want to answer the trivia question. Okay, go ahead. Which one? Um, the first one, Moolah. Okay, go ahead. She was um, disguised as Spider Woman. Very good. Very the good. Spider Woman. Very all good. right. <laughs> Now, you can, now, there's several prizes you can win. You can get an autographed picture from Brittany Brown. I don't know why you'd want it. And uh, you, could get, you could get a $5 gift certificate to the Porthole Pub, a $10 gift certificate to Max's Pub in Lynn, two of the more finer eateries in Lynn, or half off the Comedy Connection. But you don't sound old enough. But uh, which one would you like? A poster. All right, okay. What are you looking at me like that for? Okay, if you give your name... An address to the phone operator. Stay on the line and uh, show autograph one after the show. Okay? Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for calling. See, there are so many people that know so much more about wrestling than you do. Okay. I just want to. I'm going to end this now. We're going to go to Ring Dirt coming right up next, and we have to go to a break. Stay with us. This is Jeff Gonzer from Boston's classic rocker WZLX, and you're watching Ion Medford. Is that right? That's right on Medford Community Cable, and you're going to be watching this in the summer, and you're going to see me in a jacket, and it's going to look cold, and you're going to think they did this a long time ago, and you'd be right. From the McGruff Files, a story about some folks who got organized to take back their neighborhood. The place was getting run down, crime and drugs were out of hand, and honest folks felt like prisoners in their own homes. Neighbors decided to do something, so they worked together and with the police. Things happened pretty quick after that. Weekly meetings led to community action. Vacant lots were cleaned up and fenced. Neighbors even started planting gardens. Nice job, Sherry. Real nice. All the folks pitched in. Garbage was recycled. Street lamps were fixed. Before you knew it, they turned a bad situation around. The neighbors had their neighborhood back. How about that? 
Way to go, guys. Things are looking better for these folks nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Working together works, so don't get scared, get organized. Pick up a pencil and write this down and I'll send you my free booklet. Let's get the neighbors together and help me uh, take a bite out of crime. If you've had a sexually transmitted disease, like gonorrhea, herpes, or syphilis, listen, what you were doing that exposed you to that disease could also expose you to the AIDS virus. You're living proof that a sexually transmitted disease can happen. Please don't prove it again. Find out more about HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Whoa, look at Tommy, it. he's so stoned. This is totally happening. Look what's happened to him. You know what I look like. Such a mess. What a loser. Yeah, this weed is definitely gross. Ever since he started smoking pot, he's gross. Like everyone's doing it. And it's so uncool. They're really into me. They think I'm so... Out of it. He's really out of it. For wrestling talk, what you, you're gonna, are you, are you done now? I'm finished. Are you done? I am finished. Okay, uh... What you, what we, no, you finish. You, let, let us let you finish. What have you got to say about I'm already belt? done with this, the belt here, the belt here. You can have it back. Thank Take you it. very much. Okay, but I've got something that I've, I've heard a little bit about you and Chris Duffy that, uh... Maybe the fans out there don't know about, and that I didn't know about until about last week. Since after you hit me on the show, I figured I'd do it a little out of the ring. A little more investigating. A little more investigating, right? There you oh, go, investigating reported. And good. I've come up oh, with some, a few photos. Some tainted now, pictures, we? Now, if we get we? tainted pictures. Now, tainted we've got... Tainted pictures, this is good. If you focus in on this now, we've oh. got a picture of here, Brittany and Chris Duffy at a party. Uh -huh. Now, what were you doing at a drinking party with Chris Duffy if you haven't got anything going? What's this? Out of the ring ex uh, enjoyment, enjoy so to speak? <laughs> is that what I didn't quite know say? how to put it, but it's uh, well, there is someone else in that picture. So who's to say that Mr. Duffy was not with the young lady to my right? Because that is your sister, and how I do talked you to her. You know that's my sister. Because I've been investigating, you see, <laughs> and I talked to her, and she has provided me with a lot of information. Now, I've got more oh, here, but really? if you keep in line here, they don't have to be seen here live oh, in Medford. Oh, so I'm being, okay, blackmail, huh? Well, wow. hey, then this is how it goes. That's fine. Well, I won't bother saying anything about you and the pink assassin, then shall I? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you, what do you mean about me and the... What do you, I heard about a little bit of a relationship going on there. A, re a what? A what do you mean a relationship? A Last relationship. week. Relationship? Do you want me two to Two weeks spell ago. It? About two weeks ago. Okay. I'll show these pictures again. Two weeks ago, um, another thing happened where we had Mr. Pink Assassin on again, who mm -hmm. I didn't know about. Okay, and he had thrown a mask on me. And uh, look at this. <laughs> we'll just get off of that subject. And who's this in the center here with Chris Duffy and uh, Brittany Brown? None other than Paul Richards, another referee. Now, what, did you win more titles here, Brittany? What's going on? What's no. going on? No, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I may have some pictures of my own under here about a, a little relationship about a... I don't think you do. A little blonde I don't sting think... wannabe and the pink assassin. There's, 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 there's nothing going on. And just focus on this, people, okay? Right here, this is where it's at. This is what's going on. Looks like trick photography to me. These pictures are real. I have news for you. Did you get them at the joke shop along with your hairdo? <sighs> I don't have to take this type of abuse. And you don't have to pictures. be on again. I That's do. it. I've, I've taken care contract. of contract number three, so to speak. And you won't be on Same again. I have news for you. I didn't take care huh? of the I I didn't take care of the pink assassin. Mm -hmm. I have news for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on and I don't know I just have no idea. I'm sure you don't. Yeah, well, just relax over there and uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, I'll be fine. Our investigative reports have shown that even though our man, Ed Whittier, has stated that he does not like Brittany Brown, we have the story we have behind the story. the story. For you people who did not catch the Lynn show, you read the credits. Brittany's name was misspelled out of jealousy. 
Chris, Ed blamed it on Ed. Chris Duffy, when in reality, it was Ed Whittier, the man who went into the, the control room before the show and typed up the wrong name. We have, we have the secret footage. photos. Let's go to the footage that we will right show there. Next Let's move week. out of the way so we can see the name. Can see, you see, it's N-E-Y. It should be, let me see if I have it written down here. It's A-N-Y, Brittany. And Ed, and look at Chris Duffy there, shaking hands with Len. Notice Very. he doesn't shake hands with Ed, because Ed is jealous. And we have secret photos of Ed Whittier <laughs> following Brittany Brown around. And, and, and we'll show those on the next, next Medford, show. Medford show. And I'd just like to say that, Ed, after this show, you're going to be damaged goods. We'll turn it back to you. Let's go back to Ed right now. <laughs> <laughs> out of respect for your rotten segment over there, you couple of low lowlifes, this isn't going to happen anymore because Ring Dirt is history. How do you like that? everyone. Ring Dirt is history. And as far as me spelling Britney's name wrong, I don't even do the CGs. I have news for you. Because <laughs> you can't spell anyway. No, wait, don't you start on me now. I don't need any more of this crap from those two or from you either. Well, I'm the guest and I think you should give me a little bit more respect than you have. Have I been getting respect from you during this show? You certainly I have. I certainly have not. You certainly have. You're getting all that you deserve from me. I, uh, what do you think about what they said? It's probably true. You it is not you absolutely not true. the first minute you saw no, me. Oh, it's nice of you to come back, Len. Hi, Len. Hi. How'd you make out? Don't ask. What's going on? Nice of you to come back. What's going? What? What's the matter? I, I'm out. sorry. I'm sit not down. Leaving. I'm what? not leaving. I'm just taking my jacket what? off. I just went on a wild goose chase out there. Put what? Someplace. Mic. I'll put my mic on. What? Well, could you fill us in? Oh, we all nice now. Supposedly, what's been going on in on the show? What's been going on here? We just, too, no. we uh, just listened to Ring Dirt. It was great. It's been a great I show I was told so that Chris Duffy was out doing something or other to my car. And was he? And was he? Well, I couldn't find my car, but you mean your it was intact. Stolen? Well, He's, my keys were gone. Chris. No, no, I, I am not included. No, no. See, Somebody, she's showing her true colors again. No, 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 no. no. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say... First of all, I know Chris Duffy. He would not miss an appearance on television. So somebody lured me out there. For I mean, nothing's wrong with my car. Nothing happened to my car. Somebody Except wanted it's me. Somebody wanted me. Did something bad happen here when I was gone? No. No, Len. Just that these two over here had kind of destroyed my name, and her over here has been ridiculing me for the past. How long have you been oh, gone? Like so. what? Ten minutes now? See now, my name's spelled right. <sighs> Len probably took care of that this. for me. That's I, probably I, what he was doing, I, correcting my name. I well, I, to be honest, I was outside. I wasn't even around. I mean, it's all we have a naval crew here in Medford, so. Well, I'm well glad then the naval crew will tell you how she was treating me during the show. Maybe well, some of the I'm, callers at home might want to. I'm back in three nine five five nine nine three. Let's Very take good. a phone call. Very good. Wrestling talk. Hello. Yeah. Could you tell me who Dropkick Murphy was and where he come from? Dropkick Murphy. Yeah. I have never heard of Dropkick Murphy. Brittany, have you ever How heard far of Dropkick Murphy? I never Kick have, Murphy? but you know who, who is an absolute expert, which you probably, you people probably know. Well, you mm -hmm. probably don't, Ed, but Len, you probably know Sheldon Goldberg. Oh, we can find if out your from information, Sheldon Goldberg, because he had knows him on all the of the old timers and all, quiet please. We know all of that information. Sheldon could tell us any of that. You know Sheldon, don't you? We, we've had him on the show before. Yeah. He has a uh, ring, uh, a mock, ma ma marketplace. Matt Marketplace, yes, marketplace. which is a very good newsletter. Which, very, very by the good. way, that's where I got my, uh, my AWA replica belt from. Caller, is this a male or a female wrestler? It's a male. A male wrestler from what era? From Winchester, originally from Medford. But I mean, what, what time period? 42. 42, 42. That, that's a little bit before my time as far as knowledge of professional wrestling. Sheldon Goldberg will know that. We yeah. will find out for you. We will, and we'll mention it on the show next time we come back to Let Medford. me know before Christmas. We'll try. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank we'll you write that down. Okay, thank you. 395-5993. We've got a lot of intelligent, uh, historical, historically knowledgeable wrestling. That's right, and I was unable to answer any phone calls during... Uh, you did answer one. He well, answered one. I answered Last one time. phone call, but I could not get over there because I was mm -hmm. being bombarded with insults. You couldn't read? Let from us a talk certain about party we're, sitting we're, over there. We're going to move on and talk about the LPWA. Is there an LPWA now, and is it coming back in the future? I really don't know what's going on with that league now. They were doing really, really well up to a certain point. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I understand it's financial backings or something. 
right now they are not running any isn't, shows, to the best of my knowledge. Isn't Ken Resnick over there? Ken Resnick was over there, and then Jim Coronet took over for him. I really? hate to interrupt you, Miss Brown, mm -hmm. but I'd like to give another trivia question to our fans out there. Please do. Okay. Uh, In a nicer tone, or else the they won't call. The third, well, this is not <laughs> towards them. Isn't he awful, then? I don't just, will you let me speak, please? Thank you very much. He's never Tell been me, this. Never. has Andre the Giant ever won a world's title? And if so, how long did he hold it? All right, let's take Easy this Easy enough, call. guys. Mm -hmm. Wrestling talk, hello. Um, Hi. I got an answer to that trivia question. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, he held it for four months. Which title? Hello? WWF world title. For four months? Yeah. That's I don't. I don't think so. Don't give it away. No, it was not four months. All right, we'll say it's. You got the right title, but it was not for four months. Take another guess. Yeah, take another guess. How long did he hold it? Um, two months. No, you're no. still wrong. I'm sorry. But, sorry uh, about that. Thanks for the call. Thanks for the try. That's a very. That's almost like a trick. What? Trick question. You know, she's been flashing. Look at, she got jewelry on over there. She's what, what's flashing. Oh, it's sequins. No, it's not What, is this sequins. what you buy your it's, girlfriend? It's the ring on, it's Hi, the I ring on the left you. hand. Here, Ed's girlfriend. Here you go. I hope it fits. Oh, now she's on. Since you, I'm going to walk off the Julie. set line if she keeps since, this up. I'm getting since, a little sick and tired. Right, I, I, I wasn't, on I wasn't here. I'm being nice. Does this look like jewelry to you? No. No, see? It's, what do you see on the left hand? It's wrestling paraphernalia. She's covering it. Wait a minute, what, what, did I miss something here? Why can't she wear jewelry? Why? Because I think that there's something... Shall I pull out the pictures again? What's this? I, this is investigative material, Len. These are tainted Remember, pictures, Len. You these are not this. tainted pictures. I think we've been watching a little these, bit too much of uh, Ric Flair and Miss Elizabeth here. Did you, did you go out and, and, and use the same company that, that uh, Bobby the Brain did? Well, just with Elizabeth. Don't interrupt, Len. Look who's there. That's Chris Duffy and Brittany Brown that was in this picture, and I think that there's a certain relationship going maybe. on outside of the squared circle. Maybe you should be other sitting than at the, a tag than a mixed tag team. Maybe you should be sitting at the ring dirt table. Hey, I'm only doing my job, Len. I don't know what went on when I wasn't here, but I apologize for this. This 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 Thank is you. not what She's wrestling not. talk is all about. We do not. Hammer people with yeah. false accusations. False accusations. Lend, where have you been for the last 10 minutes? Out I was chasing your car around the parking lot. Well, just take the phone call in. Wrestling Dirt, hello. Uh, how are you doing? Talk. Yes. Uh, uh, Andre the Giant? Yeah. Yes. And for how, how long? long? Hold the title for? A week. <laughs> You're still wrong. Believe it or not, it's less than a week. Take a second yeah. guess. How can he be still wrong if he just answered the question just this one time? It's not the same person. It'd be two days then. Two days? Hmm. Still wrong. Still? It is. Now yeah. you're still wrong. Before you were just Both? wrong. Longer than that? It was, it was, no, it was a lot shorter than that. In fact, he gave it to a certain <laughs> party. Yeah. That's right. Who bought the title from him, if you uh, remember uh, this feud. Million Dollar Man? That's Correct. Right. That's correct. And when he won the title from Hulk Hogan with the double referees, funny how referees seem to have a, a play with these wrestlers, but uh, uh, there was a, quite a controversy <laughs> with that. Of course, there always is. Always is a controversy involved. in professional wrestling, <laughs> in especially when you least. talk about Brittany Brown. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, it was less than two days, it was less than one day, it was less than an hour. Right when you got it, you turned it over. There you go. All right. But do you think we ought to give the uh, the prize where, I mean, I gave a lot of hints, Len. Go, go ahead. I, my mind's on other things. All right, will, well, what would you which like? Which I will would, say to you after. Would you like a tainted picture of Brittany Brown? Uh, that's all right. I just wanted to answer it. Well, you thank, don't want to? Okay. Thanks for the call. Thank you very much for calling. That has to do with her. What? What? I don't like the way she's been treating you. Thank oh. you very Why much. Why is that? No, leave Are him you a little, friend like, of the pig assassins? Up. He's been on long enough, Ed. All right, thanks. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Carl. Thank you for the I'm call. I'm glad that Medford... You notice he didn't answer the that question? That Medford has got good, good callers. I love this town. In fact, I want to come here every week. It's funny every he didn't answer day, the question. Can, can we Did you notice here? that? I understand. Ed, Ed, you're, you're, you're out of control. Yeah. You're okay. on, I'm sorry. Enough Even enough. if you're right, which I'm not saying you're wrong, you're a little bit out of control this way. I don't know, I'm just I don't a know, bit, I don't know whether you're having problems at work or what. What? What? Cut it out.
Oh, we I'm not going on a wild goose chase again and leaving the show. What? I don't what understand. Look who the information you're hearing it from. What is if you were here, you'd oh, James understand. never lied to me. I, I, I know what that. What is going but. on here? Why do you? Why are Wait. you? Are you leaving again? I'm gonna. I, I have to see what's going on. I don't. What, what is going on? I heard Chris's name again. What are they I saying heard it about too. Chris again? See this belt? Oh. Do, you, do I have your permission? Can I take this belt with me? Outside. Just. Well, I, I want to take it off For the set. For protection. Well, I want to protect. I don't want you hit to. If you guys come to blows here, come to no, blows. I don't fine. want you to be, hit I'm him with be this belt. Good host. Uh, I want. I'm going to take. Miss you can take. No, you I'm going to take, take. I'm sorry. We are fine. Len, I'm gonna this is the only thing that's time. not nailed down that you can what, hit him with. What, Len? I'm sorry. Please be This is this is very unprofessional. No, it isn't. I don't want anything to get broken. I don't want you to get hurt. Now nothing happened. There's not going to be any problems at all. We'll do just fine. Or if you'd like to call us here at 395-5993. Uh, decent questions. Uh, we have a phone call. Wrestling Talk Live, hello. 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 How you doing? Good. What's your name? Richard Wallace. Okay, would you like to talk to our, our guest? No. No? Okay, would you like to talk about professional wrestling? Yeah, um, is Marty Gennetti coming back? Is Marty Gennetti coming back? Well, I'll answer that for you. Marty Gennetti is on the show that I am on May 17th at the Barry Memorial Auditorium in Barry, Vermont. Excuse so me? So if you can make it, you can see a title match there that I will probably be leaving with my second title. And Marty Gennetti will be on that show. Next he, call. Th idiot. Thank you very much for thank calling. Thank you. Sorry for her being rude. And by the way, he asked me the question. He asked somebody with a little bit more upstairs that might know the answer that didn't look up into the air I don't believe this. Len walks for up an this. answer. Chris Duffy is supposedly out into the parking lot doing who knows what. Oh, so you did hear what he said. Of course I'm sitting right next to him. Why wouldn't I And you I denied hear? it the first time. Chris Duffy's out in the parking lot. Come on, I think he's got better things to do than that. He was supposed to make an appearance on this show. He did not show up. He was signed to a contract also. Last call. Okay. Wrestling yeah. Talk Live. Hello. Yeah, I'm Red. Hello. Yeah, this is Michael. How you doing, Mike? Okay, yourself. I want to try to stump you with a question from years ago in wrestling. Okay. How many Texas death matches did Bruno Salatino fight with Professor Toro Tanaka? Oh, that's a tough one. How many? Oh, all right. I'll take a while. I guess I'll say five. Close, but no cigar. All right. Seven. Is it seven, caller? Yes, it is. Does she win? Hey, 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 this is not the Britney Brown show. Now let's just all relax here. Do you have, all right, give me another one. Try to stump me again. Okay, That's all right. Easy. How just, many times did Bruno Salatino fight Hans Mordia for the world championship? Hans, Hans Mordia. Now you're talking back in the early 70s, correct? Oh, late 60s. <laughs> Ex a brain whoa, whoa, surgeon whoa, whoa. we've got here. Brain all, brain right. Now. all right, all right, all right, Carla. She thinks she's so smart. You ask her a question. I already answered one. Next call. I'm not hanging up on him. He's a very knowledgeable caller. He's a very fact, nice person. Well, ask him a question that's a little bit more up to date because uh, you see he's having a hard time with these questions that are a little bit older than him. I don't believe this. I, hello. Yes, I'm here. Ed. Go ahead. Ask her. Give her. A qu give me another okay, question. Let me ask her a question. All right, go for it. Did Ecuador Cavalier ever hold the title? Did, Did Edward Carpenter hold the title? Probably not. You're wrong. You're wrong. Well, ah, I feel, I feel ah, he did hold the Ed. title. See, and what title did he hold, sir? WWF. I figured if his name That's was Eddie, no, he didn't caller. hold the title. Wait a minute, Brittany. I'm actually going to stick up for you. It was, he did not hold the WWF world title. No, it was a Canadian heavyweight championship, which was at the time associated. I'm a, right, but he, was, he still was heavyweight champion, and she was wrong. Not in the WWF, he wasn't. Well, what do you know about it? I know plenty oh. about it. Were you trained by the fabulous Moolah? Yeah, what about her? Oh, you were? I used to take her out to the bar. I bet. Yeah. I'm sorry. We got to go. Thank you very much for calling. See that? We have some good callers out there. Some very good callers. And they very knowledgeable you. callers. They keep okay. stumping you. Stump. All right, that's it. I've had it with you now, and <sighs> I'm going to show the latest and the greatest prize winner. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, here is the end of the controversy. Oh, where? We have where Chris did Duffy this come from? And Brittany Brown making out.
out here. Oh, where did you get what is that? This all about? Give me that. Brittany Give Brown. Me Look at that. this. Now what's this? What's this? What do you call this, everyone? Do you notice no. this? Have you seen well, this, this, everyone? No, there's nothing what, on there. This what, ring. This, this, no. You yes. engaged no. Chris no, I'm not that's engaged what, to Chris That's what. No, I'm not. I told you I'm not uh, engaged to Chris Duffy and it's not your business uh, if I was. Uh, Do you understand me? I've had it with you. Uh, I have had it with you. I put up with you last time and I'm not going to put up with you this time. Do you understand No, me? I tell you. I hope you uh, do. Goodbye and thank you for another uh, show that was real uh, 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 it, it, Hey, you all right? Hey, you all right? Come on, hey. Come on, Jeez, Eddie, you alright? Wow. Go. Come on. Let's go, Eddie. Come on. Let's go, Eddie. I've had it. I've had it with women wrestling. Right, That's Ed, the end. Ed, right there. I've had it. That's the end. Come on. Get, get, get where it's shit. Let's go get, get your shelf out. Where is everybody? Gee. It's not like Ed to leave the show unattended. I apologize out there. I don't know what's going on here, but I guess we're about out of time. Maybe that's maybe Ed ended the show early. Well, it's been fun here on Wrestling Talk. I guess uh, I was on another wild goose chase. I'm Larry Kaplan along with Ed Whittier, wherever he is, uh, with our special guest, Brittany Brown, saying, stay in the ring. Nobody else did. I'm going to go find people. <laughs>